What is up guys, your Rados, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you Legends of Illumia, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to earn in this game, how much you can earn in this game, and I'm going to give you everything you need to know about this game in its current state. So, stick around. If you guys need to jump into the earning section or any other section in this video, make sure you use the timestamps down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. Let's get this video started. Aether. Decentralized Cloud Infrastructure for Gaming and AI. All right, so first things first, ladies and gentlemen, this is an early game. We're still in early phases for this game, so that's something you got to keep in mind before you judge it too hard. Now, this is the main city right here, and one of the good things about this game, yes, you do need an NFT, but you do not lose progression in this game, and as a matter of fact, your NFT levels up as you level up your character so once you level up your character to a certain level you can actually extract it and sell it for a higher level so if you bought it at zero like i did and now it's level 33 i'm probably gonna sell it a little bit higher than what i bought it a few months ago so that is a good thing about this game you do not lose progression and you also earn loot you earn resources and you also earn nft weapons items and armors and all of that good stuff so that is something that you should know right off the bat you do need to pay to get into this game with an nft and the reason they have done that is to have a controlled environment in the future there will be free to play i have heard a lot of people yeah but the nft is too expensive i don't want to pay it's still an early game yes that is true but a lot of the games in web 2 web 2 kickstarter a lot of those games are gated if you are an early supporter some of those games can go for 10 20 30 40 100 150 200 dollars even thousands of dollars if you're an early supporter to get early access so to pay for an nft get early access get rewarded i think it's pretty good in my opinion now with that being said let me teach you how to buy the nft and how to get started in this game to get started with this game you're going to need a hero now we got battle mage and we got champions these are the two heroes that you can buy as of right now in the market these nfts were given out for free at the beginning then they sold another batch for 40 dollars and whatever price you see right here this is the market setting the price these are individuals like me setting the price this is not the team setting the price because this is around 300 dollars right now that is the floor price so you will need one of these to access the game to access the loot and to access the earnings and we will talk about the earnings in just a little bit so you guys can make sense of all of this and all the roi that this game has now if you do get one of these characters you're going to need a solana wallet i recommend the phantom wallet is one of the most um famous wallets in solana and if you do need solana tokens to buy the heroes of a lumia you will buy the solana tokens right here and buy bit i'm gonna leave the link down below this an exchange you buy the solana token and you send it to your phantom wallet now in the future if you're new to crypto you're going to need a hard wallet this is the best way to secure your assets at the beginning it doesn't really matter maybe you know you got a, you have a couple hundred bucks but once you get into the thousands of dollars you might want to get a hard wallet just want to put that out there now of course a lot of these characters have different traits and they have different levels so you can go to trait over here and you can see the skill levels and you can also see the type of skills that they have so if you guys want to find out which skills are the best in theory you can go to their discord and they have an animation and a description for every single skill including battle mage and for the champion so let's pull it up right here so you guys can see if you go to the skill description you can actually hit the tab right here whether you want battle mage or champion and you can buy a character based on what you see on this skills so if you say okay i want battle mage let me see what skills um how do they look like for example i have this skill right here this one is healing you can open it up and you can see the animation and you can see what those skills actually do so this is the best way to find out which skills is better for you i cannot give you which skills are better and the reason i cannot give you which skills are better is because i need to own basically every single skill to be able to make a decision which skills are actually better so as of right now the best way for you guys to figure out what are the best skills is to take a look at them right here on their discord so once you buy your character you're going to create an account in the lumia.io application and connect your wallet up here and then go to collectibles you're going to see your character inside your inventory and 
you're gonna transfer it in game. This transfer is gonna allow you to download the game as you can see right here, download the game, and you're going to be able to log into the game and play the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're inside the game. Now let's talk about the earnings in this game. There's three ways to earn in this game. Number one is using your character, leveling up your character, and selling your character for a higher price than you bought it by just simply putting time into your character and leveling up your character with XP. So your time is worth more money. Now, the other way to earn in this game is by earning dust. This dust right here, you can convert it into EKS. EKS is an inflationary currency that you can use in-game to buy different weapons, to buy different armors, to buy different potions and loot inside the game. But you can also extract this EKS and sell it in the open market. So as you can see, this is dust. And dust has a conversion rate, 83 dust equals 1 EKS. So as you can see, I have 28,242 dust in my account and i can extract 2000 dust every single day that is equal to around 24 eks and i can sell this 24 eks in the open market so i'm making around five to six dollars every single day and the characters are worth around 300 dollars. so this is going to take you around two months to get your money back now the amount of dust that you can earn per day is basically limited by the amount of time that you have per day and how long a dungeon might take. A dungeon could take from 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour sometimes. So you're basically limited just by time. You can do as many dungeons as you want and you're gonna earn around 500 to 1000 dust. And like I said, the dust you can convert it into EKS. So if you go to your account on the website, you're going to see your dust. So as you can see, I have 28,242 dust. I'm going to go from dust into EKS and I can only extract, as I told you, 2000 dust. So I'm going to put 2000 dust right here and that's going to be equal to 24 EKS. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that into EKS and that's going to land in my wallet. Now, once you convert your daily EKS, you can go ahead and swap it right here for Solana or for USDC, whatever you want, or even their premium currency which is elu token which is something i've been doing constantly every single eks that i withdraw i put it back into illumia token that is my strategy so five dollars almost five six dollars a day i put it back into elu token and you can go to this website right here birdeye.so you can search for eks you can search for eks right here on the solana network and you're going to go ahead and see EKS and swap it for whatever token you want on the right side. Now, the other way to earn in this game is through loot. So this loot, you can earn it in game and sell it as an NFT. You can extract it from the game and sell it as an NFT. So all of this that I have equipped, I have earned it through my grind and I can actually sell this as an NFT. Right now, they're not NFT. When they're inside the game, they're just in-game items, but you can extract it into NFTs and sell it to other players. I have earned shields, I have earned swords, I have earned armor, I have earned different things in the game that I can extract and sell it in the open market. Now to extract this collectibles, you're gonna go to the website, you're gonna go to your collectibles, you're gonna go to items, and you're going to select the item that you might want to put on the website to sell. So you're gonna go right here, you're gonna go to transfer items, you're gonna select the tra the transfer that you want. Maybe you want this sword. I wouldn't recommend to do anything that is less than rare. Even rare, I wouldn't do it. I would probably go with anything that is epic, legendary, or Illumian. That's where I would probably be selling stuff. Um, anything that I get rare or mystic, I'll probably keep it for myself or just sell it in game for dust tokens. It's probably not worth it right now to extract it and put it in the marketplace. This is going to cost you 0.02 Solana token. It's not a lot, it's around $2 um, to extract it from the game. So that is why it's important for you to extract good items that you think people will buy. And in the future, it looks like they're gonna charge you any Lumia token, which is the premium currency 
for this game as well so it's going to cost you a little bit in the future for you to extract these items so it's better for you to extract good items into the marketplace once you extract this you confirm the transaction and you can put it on magic eden or you can put it in something like tensor the website that i've been using to buy and sell characters all right ladies and gentlemen so now that we got the earnings out of the way let me give you a full walkthrough of this game and the ui so right here we have, of course, a character. You can click on the character. You're going to see your XP. You're going to see your strength. You're going to see your intelligence and your agility, your health and your mana. And this is going to be affected, of course, by the items that you might have. And if you want to see the items that you have equipped, you're going to go right here to the chest and you're going to see your stats with the items that you have equipped. So if you take some of this item off, for example, if I take this off on equip it, it's going to lose some strength. So that's, that means that some of my abilities are going to lose strength. So if I go like this, I unequip, the strength goes down, of course. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and equip it uh, again. And there you go. The strength is back up. So pretty basic. You're going to have all your abilities down here. One, two, three, and four abilities. And right here, you can put some of the potions that you might have collected or bought from the market and i'll show you the market in just a little bit you can go right here and you can say assign and you can assign some of these potions and of course go ahead and read these potions there's all kinds of potions here um and these potions you can earn it in game by drops or through right here chests where you can open them so up here you're going to see your quest as you can see i have two quests and these quests are important you want to have quests these quests will give you keys into harder dungeons this is a mystery dungeon key so basically once you complete this quest in a normal dungeon you will get these keys and right now i am accumulating a bunch of these keys right here i have already six keys and once i'm all, uh, over like maybe level 40 i will start doing harder dungeons it is not worth it to do it at a low level unless your teammates are really really high level and they can carry you through all of our teammates right now are around 30s and f almost 40s but we're almost there we're almost there so right now it is a good moment to just keep your keys and then use them later of course on the left side we got the chat we got local chat we got child basically we got group guild etc etc we also got emotes right here as you can see i can make it dance bam 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 pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool we also got this booklet right here and this booklet is going to see the people around you it's going to see the group you're in if you're in a group if you have any friends um you're going to see your friends list right here if you have a guild you're going to see your guild members and if there's a leaderboard right here you can see the rankings and the leaderboards now on the bottom right you're going to see the map of course you can click on the map and it's going to populate the map in your screen if you click again it's going to populate in another position and if you click again it's going to populate on the right side as well but you can also hit the m and it's also going to do that you can also do this inside the dungeons if you want to take a look at the dungeons better as you're walking through the dungeon now the last thing in terms of the ui on the right side you're going to see the settings the settings are not that extensive but it looks pretty nice it's pretty well done all right cool we are at the beginning of the map we're gonna take a walk and we're gonna go into every single store and you guys can see exactly what the stores are all about so on the left side right here you got the potion store you can buy some potions here boom you gotta go right here you can buy some energy and you can buy some health in the next store right here you can craft and the crafting is still not available but you can also trade a few of your items you can also buy items and these items rotate every single day or every single i don't know how many hours actually but the point is that sometimes you can find very very good items right here and you can buy it with your in-game currency that you have earned by going into dungeons now the next store right here is the food shop right here in the food shop you can buy some food and some buffs that you can use inside the dungeons. You can order some bread, you can order some brew, etc. etc. So there you guys have it. You can buy some of that here. All right, we're gonna take a right over here. And right here, you're gonna see the training ground. You can train a little bit here by hitting some of these dummies 
right here you can create a guild if you want that's going to cost you 10,000 dust tokens which is the in-game currency is going to cost you right here make a guild or expand your inventory so right here you can create a guild with 10,000 dust and you can also expand your inventory this is one one inventory this is only one inventory expansion so it is pretty expensive to expand your inventory the next thing you're going to do is go over here to Lyos Champions. And right here, every single day, you're going to get a quest. This is the quest that is going to give you what to kill to get the mystery dungeon keys, which is the keys that you need to go into the harder dungeons. Now, I will tell you right now, do not go into hard dungeons unless you're high level or unless you are with a team that is very, very high level. Now, this is another merchant right here. This merchant also sells you some equipment right here. And sometimes you can find really nice equipment. And of course, you can sell your equipment right here as well to this merchant. So the equipment that you might not want that is occupying your space inside your inventory, then you just press sell. So right here, we got another merchant for equipment. Zala is going to sell you some stuff and you can sell Zala some stuff as well. So you can see right here, sometimes you can find really good loot. As you can see, this battle mage, I kind of got one myself that is very, very similar. As you can see, it's actually comparing to mine right here and mine is literally just one point less. So I actually got mine inside the dungeon. So you don't have to pay this amount. You just got to grind until you get something nice inside the dungeons. And over here, you can enter the dungeons. Very, very simple. You're going to go to this door right here and you're going to enter the dungeons. Bam. Now you can enter easy mode or you can enter hard mode. The only way to enter the hard mode is by having keys in your inventory or being in a group with somebody that has hard keys. Now, to get into a group, you can go right here and chat with people and try to invite them. You can click on their name. Once you click on their character, you can go right here and you can invite them to the group or you can actually invite them to be your friend. Now, this is something a lot of people are going to ask me. Once you get loot like this one, like this chest right here, you're going to want to open this chest. You're going to need some keys. Now, there's bronze, there's gold, there's platinum chest. So I'm going to show you where to get this. So the first one right here, here is this lady this is the bronze key so you're going to click on this lady you're going to talk to her and you're going to click 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 and you're going to get the bronze key and that's going to cost you some dust tokens so depending on how many chests you have you're going to buy as many as you need right perfect that is the bronze key now the other key right here is the golden key the golden key is kind of like a little bit more difficult if you don't know much about this game it's going to ask you to guess the illumia token right so it's going to ask you to go E, K, S, or E, L, U. One of the two. The E, K, S is an inflationary token and the E, L, U is a premium currency. So sometimes it's E, K, S, sometimes it's E, L, U. Once you complete that, then you can buy the gold chest key. And this one's going to cost you a little bit more. And this one's going to give you better potions. So these potions right here are more like buffs, as you can see. So this, you can get it from the gold chest. Now, the next keys that you can buy is right inside of here. And this is for the platinum. The platinum chest, you can only get it in the hard dungeons right now. So you can buy the platinum chest key. And that's going to cost you 2,500 dust. And this one is going to give you pretty goddamn good loot. So that's why it's worth this much. So if you do get a chest in the hard dungeons, you can get the keys right there. That's pretty much it for the keys. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is the lands, ladies and gentlemen. If you go up here to this man right here, you can actually go to the land world. And the land world right now, there's not a lot going on. Of course, this is underdeveloped, but this is coming. This is coming soon. At some point, you're going to be able to buy land and own your piece of land and have it right here another thing that is coming very soon is pets you're gonna be able to own a pet and i believe mounts as well are coming to the game look another pet right here just walking around this is this kind of this side of the of the game is kind of like just showcasing maybe the future of the game and you can see right here that this is how housing is going to look and it looks like you're going to be able to produce maybe the dust token through housing who knows we will see and it looks like we're going to be able to farm as well
Now, over here, they kind of hint into some water world. Hopefully, we can actually use boats in the future. And by the way, right here, once you reach level 30, you can get a new quest from this man right here. Boom. So hopefully in the future, we can go inside and travel through water. That would be really, really cool. Now, this is still super, super early for this game, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you judge it accordingly. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this whole comprehensive look at this game. Everything from earnings into how to get started in this game. So much love. Thank you, guys. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you guys catch me every single day live at 8 p.m. UTC, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and 1 p.m. PST. So much love. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.